Hello friends, I come to you today from my humble quarantine. I'm sure a lot of us are in the same boat with like everything being canceled right now. So let's see if I can actually film some videos this next little while because I have nothing else to do because as we have established, I have trash bags for lungs and I am in the minority that would probably absolutely end up in the hospital if I get coronavirus, so let's not do that. So join me on this fine day as I attempt to narrowly escape death by staying inside my apartment and only eating lentil soup. Cryptid core. You'll get the gist of this pretty quickly. As we have established Tumblr tags that end in core, i.e. goblin core, farm core, kid core, all of these ones that we've come across, they tend to just be like an aesthetic or a subculture or a subculture kind of based around an aesthetic cryptids. But before we get into it, I need to tell you about this week's sponsor, Function of Beauty. Function of Beauty creates customizable shampoos and conditioners so that you can tailor your products to your unique hair type and goals for your hair, as well as support a company that is animal friendly and uses the best natural ingredients. There's no parabens or sulfates in any of their products and they're 100% vegan and cruelty free. Getting started with Function of Beauty is super easy. You just fill out a two minute online quiz outlining your hair type, your hair goals, and some other personalized preferences like what color and fragrance you'd like. They even print a custom name on your bottle. They've been sponsoring me for a couple months now and every time I like to spice it up and try out a new color and fragrance. I got the rose and black currant scent this time and it's probably my favorite so far. Although the black is definitely still my favorite color. It's a very cool looking shampoo. They also offer leave-in treatments, hair masks, and hair serum which are also customized. I got the hair serum. It makes my hair extremely soft and very nice smelling. 10 out of 10 would recommend. So click the link in the description below to get 20% off your first Function of Beauty order. And now Back to the video. Sex? No thanks. I'm saving myself for the bog witch. You know what? I could not agree more. Marriage who? I'm saving myself for the bog witch. We saw this post in my last deep dive as well. Do you like mushrooms? Revlogged for 10 years of good vibes. I still love it. It's still a fantastic post. Somebody did a painting of Bigfoot dabbing. Oh my god, this is such a good witch cabin. This is so good. I'm also moving soon and like ideally a witch cabin in the woods would be my dream home, so like, let me know if you know where I can find any of those downtown Toronto. I simply do not vibe with civilized life. I would prefer to be feral and live in a mushroom. You know what? Fuck work. I'm going to walk around the cemetery while reading poetry. Things I want. Fangs, wings, horns, pointed ears, claws, absolute body goals. How to befriend the moon, a step-by-step -step tutorial. I feel like the amount of posts I saw would just show up on my dash about the worm moon like definitely came from this sort of side of Tumblr originally. And you know what? I went. I looked for the worm moon. I wanted to spend my night of March 9th screaming at the worm moon like the feral child that I am inside, but it was cloudy and I didn't get to see her and I it was tragic. I shed a tear. I I didn't, but like in my inside I shed a tear, you know? I put the cry encrypted <laughs> me when I can't see the worm moon. <laughs> anyway, how to be friend of the moon. Revere women as the moon reveres women, they are her most beloved children. Check. Take off your bra or any clothing that might constrict you. Spin around as fast as you can until you're dizzy and laughing. I'm quarantined right now. I'm in my comfiest attire possible. I don't know how well I can spin around in here, but it's on the to-do list. Be kind to raccoons. At dusk, open your window and sing her song. She does not care if it's out of tune. She smiles down no matter what. Wander by night. The moon will keep you safe. <laughs> the moon better keep me safe from coronavirus if you're trying to get me to leave my house right now. You must prove you trust her, but do not go too far into the forest where she cannot see you. Wear a silver necklace. This will remind the moon that you are hers. Go outside in the middle of the night. Bring friends to greet the moon. Dance unafraid in her benevolent light. She will dance with you whether you see her or not. Congratulations, the moon is your friend. You may call on her when you need her, but never forget her or leave her. Just excuse me, excuse me just a moment, I'm gonna take some notes. That was a really, it was a really good helpful post. God, I really want myself some paranormal friends. A werewolf who I can play catch with on a sunny afternoon, a vampire who I can go to some sketchy nightclub and listen to them as they drunkenly explain how the French Revolution actually happened. Oh my God, that would be so cool. I want some immortal friends. I also just want to be an immortal vampire. Like that's the goal. They make like pretty realistic fake vampire teeth that like you can just get for like relatively affordable. And now I'm like, do I, do I, do I need this in my life? Do I need to make more dumb purchases? Cause I very well might. If you look back at like all of my Tumblr deep dives, like, there, I say so much dumb shit, like, ooh, might dye my hair that color next, or like, ooh, might make a long Furby, <laughs> wild, like, I say so many things in my Tumblr deep dive videos, I get, I get, I get so many self-improvement ideas that I 
totally end up going through with. So at this point, just expect me to show up on here with some vampire fangs at some point. I pretty much just condemned myself to totally making that purchase. By saying it on this show, it becomes real, apparently. If you look at my track record. Mom said it's my turn to speak the forbidden language and summon the old gods. I hate that I know, I know full well that this is the Jenna Marbles soap hand and somebody captioned it a new cryptid. Oh, and it's probably tagged Jenna Marbles too, I see it there. Okay, but consider. Mothcore. Sweaters. Sitting outside on a cold night with a pile of blankets. Chilling in the dark. Closed spaces. Just talking with your bug friends. Candles. Dried flowers. Attics. Flimsy curtains and lace. Hanging scarves and blankets everywhere in your room so it looks like a giant blanket fort. Blanket forts. Flashlights. Lights. <laughs> oh, I love this. Fuck it. Turns into a moss woman and sleeps for 20 centuries. If someone's gonna try and explain Tumblr to people from 20 centuries from now, I suppose it should probably be me. I... I will... I will undertake this responsibility. This whole being alive thing simply isn't for me. I will henceforth be going to lay in the field and decompose slowly. Press F, boys. 90s vampire checklist. Black attire. Nocturnal. Frequence graveyards. Gothic music. Drinks the blood of consenting adult. <laughs> Consent is very important, kids. Oh my god, cryptid pins. And one of them just says a himbo. Mothman is a himbo confirmed. Honestly, the goal is for my backpack to just be a wall of pins. You guys have been very helpful with that. I've been sent a lot of particularly fun ones, but if you have one that says certified himbo, I'll take it. I'm just saying, because <laughs> that's quality. Vampires are hot. Men loving men, women loving women, solidarity. That's true, yeah. Wait, I thought this person's URL said girl defined, but it's gremlin defined. That's, that's some good shit. I'm such a goblin when I'm not in ho mode. <laughs> Happy birthday! This is terrifying Furby dog in front of the Percy Jackson books. I love that I, I know that. Again, I love the overlap between all of the Tumblr, weird Tumblr aesthetic subcultures. We got Furbies, we got cryptids, we got goblins all in this one blog. I love that the desire to just go feral and live in the forest and scream at the moon has become so popular among the young Tumblr gays. I just, I feel seen. These are my people, clearly. My gender is not male. Not female, but completely fucking feral. Oh god, flashback to the feral gender people. Today's plan is to wander into liminal space and go so far that I cross the threshold into a different reality and then reestablish myself as an Eastern Pennsylvania cryptid who is most often sighted on my college campus. People will take blurry photos of me when I'm walking to class and they'll talk about me on the annual campus ghost tour. Folks will come from all over the all over to try and find me and campus will set up a little gift shop like the ones in Point Pleasant in Rosewell. I'm just out here snatching teeth. Speaking of which, somebody sent me some teeth. Focused. Yes, for once I got it to focus. So that's a fox tooth, I believe. I have it here among my other collections of bones and crystals that people have sent me. My my little vertebrae, which I will love forever, as well as like, just, just, just some regular old shiny rocks and things. There's some here that were mine. This one I got when I was a kid and I still love it to this day. This one my ex got me, but it's it's pretty, so I keep it out. How many how many rocks can I eat before I either ascend to a new plane of existence or die? Everything in the universe is dependent on everything else, but the shadows suggest 32. Werewolf lesbian lock screen with themes of abandoned places and cryptids for anon. My people have been out here this whole time. I had a brief like uh, urban exploring phase a couple years ago. Um, which is to say I broke into a lot of abandoned houses in my neighborhood because there's nothing else to do in Mississauga. I like I wish I had discovered this stuff at that point in my life. I probably would have redesigned my entire personality around Cryptid Core at that point in my life, I'm not even gonna lie. And I still think it absolutely slaps. I want a break from school, from responsibilities, from having a body. This is probably the closest we're gonna get having a fun little quarantine party right now. But I like this post. I feel like it really it really it sums up what's at the core of these sorts of communities and tags. Crying in a church parking lot and watching the sun rise as the world falls around you as fireflies by Owl City Plays. <laughs> Dirt core. Chaos core. <gasps> what is chaos core? Dark Tumblr, show me the chaos core. It's related to bastard core. This is the best tag I've ever found in my life. Being gay isn't natural, it's supernatural. The witches, gremlins, and aliens made you queer, and frankly, I think it's very sexy. Chaos core things. Scream. Things where they shouldn't be. Cursed images. Haha, <laughs> garbage. Tea posing to assert dominance. Possibly not human. Cryptids. Anything that falls in the uncanny valley. Mmm, that's unsettling. I love it. Eat the rich. Decompose. Become one with the moths. This is my shit. This is- this is my shit. Oh my god. This is my shit. I really need to know what bastard core is. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Okay, so so far Chaos Core and Bastard Core have like sim similar core ideas to Goblin Core and Cryptid Core, but like make it grunge. It's definitely very grunge. So is- <laughs> Can't escape my demons. People who are into grunge, but they still appreciate their tumble roots, they call it bastard core instead. Okay, I can get down with that. We should probably go back to cryptid core. We were talking about cryptids, I swear, at one point. Positivity for shapeshifters. Sometimes it's hard to tell who you are. That's okay. You don't have to be one thing. You don't have to know what your one thing is. You are full of opportunity to be anything. You are fluid. Some days you may bare your teeth at the world and rip away your skin. Some days you may wrap soft wings around those you love. Some days you float on air carelessly drifting away from which from that which holds you back. Some days you are so heavy you can barely move from unfamiliar and burdensome. This is all you, but you are not always this. Positivity for shapeshifters! Anyone missing a carrier or homing pigeon? We have one that's been visiting us for the last two days. I mean, I didn't realize it until this very moment, but I think I am missing a carrier pigeon in my life. This was posted to my town's Facebook group, and wow, I love them. Please visit me soon. <laughs> the real debate. Frogs or snails? I refuse to debate. They're both fantastic creatures. Something that I've never seen on here but that I feel like is very goblin core is those ecosystem in a jar things that they would so they would sometimes make like middle school kids do. I know I did it in like seventh grade where you had like a big jar and like the teacher brought in a bunch of little snails and you had to have like your plants and your snails and I believe it was like an underwater thing and it had to be- you had to like make a balanced ecosystem in a jar to like understand the components of an ecosystem in science class and they look very- okay I- I- have had a dream for like the past year to just fully make one as an adult and just yeah like tell me this is not the most goblin core shit you've ever seen that's like the level you'd get to in seventh grade but like i still think it's so dope the spectral moose was first reported in 1900s in many different areas of maine it is said to be a moose that measures about 10 to 15 feet high with ghostly white or gray coloring and enormous antlers during a mass of sightings in 1938 a man who a man known only by the name of houston claimed that he saw a spectral moose along with a herd that were grazing in a bog. Catch me grazing in a bog. Be the cryptid you want to see in the world. I feel quite achieved knowing that people who watch me come to Toronto and they're like, what if I see strange eons? So I do feel like, I do feel like a bit of a cryptid at times like those and it feels very good, can confirm. Okay, cryptid. On a typical Friday night, I am thinking about Nessie. There's like a version of the Loch Ness Monster that's supposed to live in a lake in the Okanagan Valley in British Columbia. Big brain energy, I remembered it. Um, <laughs> and I, I went there with some family when I was a kid, like under 10 for sure, but I had some gummy worms and I was like dropping them into the lake to feed the Loch Ness Monster because I 100% believe. So yes, I am thinking about her too. I hope that she loves the gummy worms. But this has been a very enjoyable uh, delve into the cryptid core tag. I feel very inspired to go lay down in a bed of moss and adopt some snails and build a blanket fort. And I hope you do too. I hope that we've had this I hope we've had a, a bonding experience together on this, this fine day as we are both quarantined in our homes. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in another video very soon. <laughs>